to lay out also mentions uh, democracy as one of the important factors that contributes to the happiness uh, of a population and one of his um, examples is a study by Bruno Frey who compared happiness in Swiss cantons with most referenda to happiness in Swiss cantons with the least referenda. So in order to understand this you need to know that Switzerland has a system, uh, it is divided into provinces which are called cantons and these provinces are largely autonomous they like the united states you know which has states and the states have their own legislation and uh, they have their own governors and a similar thing happens with the swiss cantons and uh, also that in switzerland um, some of these cantons have a kind of democracy where the citizens vote directly for particular issues. So they don't only vote once every four or five years for some people to represent them, but instead they vote directly uh, on questions of policy. So the government would say we want to raise the taxes uh, next year. Uh, the citizens now have to vote whether they want this tax raise or not. Or the government would say we want to make a new immigration law. The citizens have to vote whether they want this law or not. And in this way the citizens have a very direct participation in the politics of their country. They can really decide individual laws and they can decide about individual policies. And now the cantons, because they are self-regulating, are different in this respect. Some of them have more of these referenda and some have less. And so now Fry compared cantons which have lots of such referenda, where the citizens directly participate in the government, with cantons that have less. And what he found out is that the resulting difference in happiness is equal in effect to a doubling of income. So having more referenda, more opportunities to express your political views and to actually get an influence on the politics gives you a boost of happiness that is equal to a doubling of your income. Um, more modern findings we find here in a paper by Ott, which I, I um, uh, have given you um, the citation in the lecture notes. And uh, Otto now tries to distinguish a little more different kinds of government. And he distinguishes between um, democratic government quality and technical government quality. So the democratic government quality is how democratic the government is, how much participation people have. And the technical government quality expresses more how reliable the government is, how efficient it is, uh, how well it works in a technical sense. And so for the democratic quality of the government there are two factors that uh, he looks at. One is voice and accountability means, means the extent to which a country's citizens are able to participate in selecting their government as well as freedom of expression, freedom of association and so on. And second, the political stability and absence of violence. So if the government is stable and there are no big demonstrations in the street and so on, then this is a positive thing for the democratic quality of a government. On the other hand, the technical quality of the government is composed of government effectiveness, which essentially means the quality of public services, uh, civil service, uh, and um, regulatory quality is the second thing, the ability of the government to formulate and implement sound policies, and the rule of law, the extent to which agents have confidence in and abide by the rules of society, and in particular the quality of contract enforcement, the police, the courts, and the likelihood of crime and violence. And so these are the technical quality of the government, 
of course also then the control of corruption this is these overlap each other a little right the control of corruption uh, should actually be uh, inside the rule of law is a part of that but anyway here is it again separately uh, valued and so if you put them together and you look at the average happiness um, in relation to the technical quality you see directly uh, a straight line in the correlation the more technical quality a government has the, the least corruption it has the most efficient the more efficient it is the more average happiness the citizens have and if we look at the democratic quality you see that this gives you a more um, interesting um, perhaps more puzzling result uh, because with a democratic quality it seems that it first goes down right the more democratic quality you have um, if you start at zero you have some amount of happiness and then you have a little more democratic quality and the happiness goes down before it finally goes up again um, this perhaps you can explain by saying that when there is no democratic quality at all then the citizens don't expect participation they know how the government works they know you know to ignore it because they are not going to be heard anyway while if the government has some beginnings of democratic quality then the citizens perhaps hope that they will be heard or they hope that they if they have a demonstration for example that this will have some effect and when it doesn't then the effect on happiness is stronger the disappointment is stronger um, and the citizens then lose uh, faith in the government and uh, they lose faith in their own ability to to change things and then their happiness sinks and only in the later stages in this diagram when um, the democratic quality actually becomes positive when uh, the zero is somewhere in the middle right so when it becomes positive and the government really uh, listens to the citizens uh, more and more and the citizens can rely on this then actually it starts to grow again right so the impact on democracy on well-being has been researched by other authors also here is a result of another paper uh, where you see that it roughly um, confirms the same basic idea on the left side you have regional happiness or this is uh, looks at various uh, regions um, and you see the regional demo democratic satisfaction at the bottom so the more democratic satisfaction you have the more happiness you have uh, of course all these things are, are complex numbers um, and uh, there has been some work you know trying to uh, distinguish it from for example reverse um, uh, correlations where um, people would be happier for some reason and then they would also have more democratic satisfaction as a result so this is always uh, a little difficult how to ask the question so that you get convincing results but but roughly you know you see the idea that the more democracy you have the happier people seem to be Okay, so Layard also mentions democracy as one of the important. Okay, so Layard also mentions democracy as one of the important uh, factors that contribute to the happiness of a population. And um, for this um, topic of um, so Layard also mentions uh, democracy. Is one of the more how reliable the government is how efficient it is uh, how well it works in a technical sense 